Hey YouTube world, <clears throat> what's going on? Uh, right now, I am mid run. <sighs> yeah, I'm out of breath, I have to catch my breath though. Uh, let's see. Uh, so it's kind of a sad day in the running community because <sighs> Sir Roger Bannister passed away at the age of 88. If you don't know who uh, Roger Bannister is, he was the first man to ever break the four minute mile. And he did it back on May 6, 1954 in, uh, in England. This was a man who was studying to be a doctor. He was going through medical school and he kind of wanted to know the whole capacity of the human spirit and its limits of what a person could take their body to achieve those limits. And, of course, one of those things is exercise. And what is one exercise that you can do that could be as easy or as hard as possible? And it's probably the oldest exercise. That's right, running. A lot of people hate it, a lot of people like it, and everybody else is somewhere in between or in the mix. <sighs> yeah, I was just, uh, I'm at a school right now. As you can see, it's not too far from my apartment complex, but during this run, I just wanted to stop and, you know, it's like, I wanna, I wanna vlog a little bit about this, so, because this man was one of the reasons why, ah, shit. I don't know what the hell that was. Uh, could have been a B. This man was one of the reasons why I created this uh, King of the Mile 87 channel. At least I came up with the title. Well, it was mainly uh, Hisham El Garouge, who's the current world record holder in the men's mile, which is 343.13. Ridiculous time that I don't think anybody's going to break unless they're juiced to the gills, but I don't know. But this man, I heard about him when I was 14 years old, and that's when I started getting into running. And I'm just like, you know what? This is this is awesome. Crazy at the same time. You know, going against all medical sane personnel that I think running a mile under four minutes is possible. When people back then thought it was impossible. And look what happened. He did it. He freaking did it with limited resources. So I swear, if Roger Bannister had the training, the nutrition, the knowledge that athletes today, or at least in the last 20 years, have and get, sub 35, I mean sub 350, easy, easy. Because the man had talents to run. And he did so very, very, very well. But it's sad that he's gone now. And... <sighs> But his legacy is going to live on, though. He didn't compete for money or fame. He just did it because he liked it. And, you know, like, after that race, he retired from competitive running later that year just to study medicine, you know, to be a doctor. That is class right there. Not many people... Well, we'll do that seems like now because you know they want to run and get the money and stuff I mean they're money hunger driven this guy was driven because he wanted to know the depths of the human body so you got to respect that you got to totally respect that anyways now see there's a basketball court a little playground field See, nobody's here though. It'd be kind of weird that a 30 year old man's on elementary school. Now I'm just gonna get a certain workouts in and stuff. But anyways, after I get back and they run back to my apartment complex, this run today is for you, Roger. Rest in peace, sir. You truly were one of the many greats and a pioneer in the sport of running. Got much love. I'm out.